Welcome to Serious Blanalysis. Today, we're going to be looking at how Jason managed to squander a great start in YouTube fitness. And how much money am I making do in all of this if you take everything from my combined YouTube income because I've got a couple of different channels. Uh, I have two different affiliates. I've got a Tiger Fitness affiliate. I have an Amazon affiliate right now. I'm also writing one article per month, which takes me a couple hours for Tiger Fitness. Uh, what's my predicted income? For this year, it's probably gonna be conservatively, on oh, my taxes this year, 35,000. It could be 40 or more, depending on how the later part of the year goes, because I'm gonna get some additional promotion in here as a result of other outreach. And so if that pans out, it could it could go over 40. Well, and yeah, at the rate I'm going with this year, off the fitness end, I'll probably end up making 100 grand a year eventually. And of course, I've got my other tactical channel going. I'm going into a tactical company with friends of mine, and that's another niche market that I'm gonna be using this to expand upon and to grow the outreach on that slowly. And we're gonna be doing a gun shows and all sorts of things there and that's going to build up into a legitimate part-time business on top of it and you know maybe in the long term that'll make a hundred grand a year so what could jason have done differently to capitalize on his wonderful initial position in the community apart from the stolen valor which is probably an important variable but may not be the only thing that affected his channel i want to know how you would have gone about capitalizing on his early successes drop it in the comments below and let's create some alternate history timelines where jason remains an intimidating, intimidating presence in youtube fitness